Udaipur, one of the most beautiful cities in India, famous for its lakes and gardens and attracts more than a million tourists annually from across the globe. The city of lakes, being surrounded by hills, is subject to microclimatic conditions that are increasingly susceptible to changing climate such as variations in rainfall patterns and intensity as well as longer, drier seasons. The city's lakes are getting choked with pollution and waste from the disposal of sewerage and solid waste directly into the surface drains and water bodies. This along with reduced groundwater recharge and increasing temperatures will lead to water scarcity among other environmental impacts that will be felt by the city. So quite naturally, the climate interventions which were introduced in Udaipur city were not uh, a surprise to the citizens as our citizens are very aware and sensitive towards the climate change. As you may know, it is globally estimated that cities contribute to 70% of the greenhouse emission that drive climate change. So you think cities are the problem, but we can also look at the cities as a solution. And it's important to support them in reducing their carbon footprint and at the same time to adapt to climate change. This is actually the approach of the Capacities Project supported by the Swiss Agency for Development and Cooperation. In our project, we've been supporting four cities in India, one of them is Udaipur, in planning and implementing mitigation and adaptation measures. In the particular case of Udaipur, through the project and the support of Swiss and Indian experts, the city has prepared a climate resilient city action plan and has implemented measures in particular in waste management and transport. The city is dependent on petrol and diesel autos and this unorganized intermediate public transport has been polluting the city, putting public health under threat. Udaipur Municipal Corporation with technical assistance under Capacities Project initiated to transform the IPT fleet through introduction of e-rickshaws and e-autos. The e-rickshaw project was launched by the Ambassador of Switzerland. The IPT Action Plan, besides transportation, also has some environment benefits apart from providing employment. Under the Capacities Program, it will help us to providing the 18 e-rickshaw and the Ambassador of Switzerland, they arrive and they distribute to the, among the mainly the persons who are the uh, backward community of the city. The target was to increase the ridership and reduce emissions. To begin with, 18 e-rickshaws of different types, including passenger and freight, were deployed, thus reducing the GHG emission and pollution levels. Capacity के सहयोग से नगर निगम द्वारा मुझे दो वर्ष पूर्व ई रिक्शा प्रदान किया गया जब ये ई रिक्शा में चलाने लगा तो इसके अब मेरी आमदनी अच्छे होने लग गई और इससे मैं बच्चों को अच्छे इंग्लिश मीडियम में पढ़ाने लग गया हूं और आज मेरा खुद का एक ई रिक्शा स्वयं मैंने खरीद लिया है और इससे मेरे परिवार की आजीविका बहुत ही अच्छी चल रही है टू मॉनिटर एयर क्वालिटी ऑन अ रेगुलर बेसिस फोर एयर क्वालिटी मॉनिटरिंग मशीन्स हैव बीन इंस्टॉल्ड एज पार्ट ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट these results are being monitored periodically to take suitable measures on need basis. The regular recording and uh, sharing the air quality data with the citizens through our website actually helps us in better designing the policies and taking corrective steps towards environment protection. The Quick Win project Shunya or Zero Waste was also one of the initiatives taken up under this project. Separate dust bins were distributed to households and the waste was collected in segregated manner. Information, education and communication, that is IEC programs, focusing on source segregation practices were also conducted by the corporation in all the municipal wards. Women's self-help groups, SHGs, members were active in disseminating segregation messages in more than 3,500 households. एस एच जी की महिलाएँ अभी नगर निगम के थ्रू काम कर रही है पैंतालीस वार्ड में तो वो सारी लड़ी से अभी वार्ड में काम कर रही है नगर निगम के थ्रू लोगों को समझाने का जागरूक करने का काम कर रही है उदयपुर को स्वच्छ सुंदर बनाने के लिए काम कर रही है 60 टन्स पर डे ऑफ वेस्ट इज ट्रांसपोर्टेड टू तिथारी डम साइड वे ड्राई वेस्ट इज रिसीव एंड प्रिपेयर फॉर रिसाइकलिंग इन मटीरियल रिकवरी प्लांट while the wet waste is processed and reused in a composting unit. Through the recycling and reuse of disposed solid waste, 
potential greenhouse gas emissions will be reduced and climate change mitigated. The scientific closure of the Tithati dump site is on in full swing. This includes the permanent management of pollutants from the waste that has been generated in Udaipur and dumped at the site for the past few decades. The project is going on in 5 crore, which is 80-90% complete. After the whole thing, where the whole city of the whole city of Malba was coming from, there was a land filling station, there will be a beautiful garden here. The primary objective of this scientific closure of the dump site is to ensure that toxic pollutants do not leach out contaminating the water, land and air and thereby reduce the risk to the environment and human well-being. A waste to energy biomethanation plant has been inaugurated on 150th birth anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi and the 5th anniversary of Swachh Bharat Mission. The electricity generated by the plant is being used by the fire station in the city. We are very much happy and uh, impressed by this progress and it makes us believe that the city capacities are increasing to combat climate change impact. The commitment and dedication of the city authorities but also of the citizens will be further required to ensure a sustainable and resilient development of the city in the future.